Barb Makes Things! Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I'm doing a review of the September 2017 Box of Making, Steamy Tech's new subscription box. If you aren't aware, Steamy Tech is a company based in the San Francisco Bay Area, near where I grew up, and they make steampunky things with laser-cut wooden gears. I bought my first fidget spinner from them, because who doesn't want a spinner with working gears? They've even got a new one with a Geneva stop mechanism. It's tricky to get wooden mechanisms to work well, but they manage it. Steamy Tech isn't a sponsor, they just sent me this to review. Let's take a look at what's inside. First thing I noticed when opening it is the smell of laser cut wood. There's a geared game with a compass rose theme that's continued throughout the box, and information about what's included. This box is mostly full of kits, the first of which is an explorer's collection box. There's some scrap wood, which is handy to preview what markers look like on the material they're using. There are a bunch of additional gears for the game we pulled out first. There's an explorer's coaster kit, which is the thing I was most excited for. Some spare screws. 240 grit sandpaper. Super glue. And a new subscriber welcome pack, which includes a package of Sharpies, a pen box kit, a fridge magnet kit, a screwdriver, and a ruler. I started with the magnet kit, which has these wild shaped gears. A necessary but somewhat tedious part of all of these kits is the need to sand the wood to get a good surface for gears to move smoothly. But once you've done that, they all work well. This is a good quick starting project. I colored the gears with Sharpies. It spins really well hanging on my fridge. The pen box is also pretty simple. I colored the inside of mine dark brown with the Sharpies. Next, I tackled the Explorer box. Many of these projects are held together with an interesting screw mechanism. It's pretty clever joinery. The box has some cool designs, but is pretty plain altogether. It would have been neat to see some designs that pull all the sides together thematically, like corner or edge clamp patterns. You know, like you'd find on the edges of an antique trunk. But I suppose part of the point of a kit like this is to give you plenty of room to decorate and customize. You can add whatever you want. Speaking of which, I found a neat piece of fabric in my stash that was a perfect fit for the height of the box and long enough to wrap all around. I marked and cut some holes so that I could still use the wooden handle. I stained the two gears on top of the box, and while I was at it, stained some of the pieces of the coaster as well. For the top of the box, I used a piece of scrap leather that I got from the Rediscover Center, which takes in a lot of donations. I knew I was hanging onto it for some reason. Regarding the instructional videos, there's very complete information there, and this is their first box, so I'm sure they'll be making modifications to their system, but I think it'd be nice to see written and illustrated instructions for assembling the different projects too, in addition to the helpful but long videos that they had for this one. Some of the projects are more complicated than others. For example, I didn't need to watch the videos for the magnet or pen box at all. I skimmed through the Explorer box video for a couple spots that needed clarifying, but I built right along with the video for the coaster, pausing a whole lot. That one's much more complicated. Fun, but complicated. I like that there was a variety of difficulty levels in the different kits included. About the game, I wasn't able to play it with anyone, so I can't gauge how compelling it is as a playable game, but it is an interesting platform for fiddling with different gear combinations. Another interesting idea for it is to glue some of the gears on top of each other to make compound gears. The screws are long enough to handle at least two levels and still be able to get the nylon nut on the back. I'm curious to see what Steamy Tech creates for future boxes, since they always seem to be pushing themselves to make cool new things. 
Every festival or maker fair I see them at, they've expanded their offerings. If you'd like to get the box of making yourself, which comes out every other month, you can use the code MAKETHINGS to get 5% off at the link in the description. I'm definitely feeling the need to do some more steampunk things after all this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.